not all motivation is the same. A common mistake many organizations make is offering blanket incentives to employees, which assumes they're all motivated by the same things. Sales managers often attempt to motivate their teams by offering incentives that they themselves would find motivating. Sales teams are diverse, and what motivates one person may not motivate another. When managers institute blanket incentives across their team, it often creates an unequal distribution of motivation, where some people are motivated and others are not. Let's say it's the end of the quarter, and the sales manager offers an incentive for the most discovery calls completed by her business development representatives. The incentive is a pair of tickets to see a baseball game. While the manager wants to motivate her team, the incentive has unintended effects. Out of her team of 10, only four are baseball fans, and two will be out of town on the game date. This leaves only two business development representatives who are incentivized by the tickets. So, where does that leave the other eight business development representatives? In the best case scenario, they're neither motivated nor unmotivated by the baseball ticket incentive. In the worst case, the incentive can have the opposite result of its intended effect. It's possible they're left feeling that management doesn't understand or care about their motivations and hard work, which could leave them feeling somewhat resentful. So how can the sales manager avert this type of unmotivating situation? Instead of offering one incentive, the manager could offer the representative with the most discovery calls a choice of various extrinsic incentives. For example, instead of baseball tickets on a specific date, she could offer her team a list of prizes, all valued at $250. This small shift leads to a more motivating environment that values healthy competition and makes the sales team members feel more valued and accepted. This example embodies the most important key in discovering what motivates your employees. Choice. Because sales teams are diverse and full of different personalities, Managers need to value the individual preferences of their team to motivate them on a collective level. Another way to value individual preferences is by asking each of them the sources of their motivation, which can be done informally, in conversation, or formally in a survey. While this sort of dialogue may seem unnatural at first, it can work on two separate levels. It shows your employees that you genuinely care about their interests increasing relationship motivation, and it motivates your team on both individual and collective levels. Sales teams work at their most productive and effective levels when they're motivated individually and collectively. These may seem like different entities, but these types of motivation often work symbiotically with one another and can often be cultivated by valuing each team member and allowing your team to self-select their motivational preferences.